Hello Taurus! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. There is a companion book by Barbara Moore. I don't use it, but in case that's value to you for this deck, I'm going to make sure you're aware of that it's there. There's a website for them, Llewellyn.com. It's a uh, 2004 publication, but still might be stuff out there. I'm assuming. I think Llewellyn is quite alive and well still. I forget. My brain is just not there right now. But if you search it out, you'll find it easy, I'm pretty sure. Supportive Oracle Cards. You are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illustrations by Elaine Marzen. The website for them is rockpoolpublishing.com.au. A is an apple, U is an umbrella. If you freeze frame there or on the other part, if you want any of the information, feel free to do as you like. So we have some good energy. How good is this? Oh, that's a... Hmm. Are we getting a good outcome, just not as good as we wanted? What's going on with this? I think you have a good outcome coming, but I keep going... Is it as good as we, what we really wanted? The bottom card is... Is that reward? Ooh, reward! There is a reward here. For you or for them? They're like, well, it depends how you look at it. <laughs> okay, let's go a little farther. Um, it's, okay, what's going on? Because I feel like you know what you want. And somebody's making random movements. You know what you want. I don't think that's a shock. You know what you want. Whatever, Whoever this person is, this subject, you know what you want. And... You do what you need to do to keep it where it belongs. Doesn't seem too big of a deal. Um, somebody's bored. They're going bananas here. They can't do it. Nope, can't do it. They're having a hard time with whatever you want. They have. They're. They they've been doing it for a while, and they're just like, I have to do something different. And to, they're trying to keep with the program, yet do it their own way. Page of Wands, Seven of Wands. Holding it together, but doing it different than you're really... I don't know if you're really a fan of it. They have to change things up. It's some, whatever's going on, whatever they, this connection is with this person, they have to own it some more, and they have to have some more flexibility. I feel like you might not be a fan of this. But I'm getting... This is what it's going to take for them to stick with the situation. They need some more wiggle room. They need to. Whoever this is, I feel like they like you well enough. But if you want to keep them in this position, you're going to have to afford them some more flexibility or you might lose them. Because I feel like this is looming over us. But it's the position it's showing up in is like this could happen. Um, it's not often that this card comes up as a possibility. I feel like this person isn't going to be able... They can't, they can't do it your way and be happy. So if they can't be happy doing it your way, it's either you got to let them do it their own way or sooner or later they're going to go. This is not easy for you, but I feel like you definitely want to keep this person around. And it's kind of like I'm feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place, catch 22, whatever you want to say. I can either let them do what I want, what they want, which makes me very uncomfortable. It feels like it's kind of messing things. It puts things in this weird limbo, kind of like I don't think things are as secure as they should be. Or I can hold it to where I need it to be, force it to stay where I want it to be, and then sooner or later they will leave. So it's kind of like it depends who the person is and how much you value them. I think that's what it's going to... Because... Even if you, I don't know, I feel like even if you try to be okay with them leaving, it still takes a lot of planning because who knows when they're going to leave. That's the thing, too. You can get used to, to this. You can relax a little bit. I don't know. I'm not going to say this is easy because I know Taurus has their way. And I like Taurus energy. I do. 
But I also, when I'm dealing with Taurus, I know Taurus has their way. And that's what it is. Um, I don't find Taurus is very difficult, usually. I don't know, because they usually, what they want is what they want, and they just put it right out there, and you're either on board or you're off board. It's one or the other. And they, I don't know, I don't I don't personally find them dif difficult. I don't know if other people do. or other. I'm sure other signs do, because not all signs get along. So there's that. <laughs> not all signs get along. Um... They're saying this is something you can do. Maybe not be the most excited about the idea of it, but you can do it. You can even like give them enough wiggle room and then on the side, outside of their view, have a backup plan just in case. You could probably do it that way if that's what you need to do to feel secure. If that makes you feel more comfortable. Kind of like, I guess I could let them do that. But I gotta, I gotta do some a little bit extra work here. Just to make sure I keep my eye on things. That way, if they do flub up, I can catch it. If that's acceptable or not, it's up to you. There's a lot coming in with this. They don't take it for granted if you're able to do it. But I feel like for a lot of you, you have to decide whether you can or not. If you can give them their flexibility, and allow them even a little more, they don't take that lightly. And they're going to think about what they're doing and how that's going to affect you. So they kind of like, they consider you, but you got to let them keep doing it on their own. Careful not to micromanage or get in there and give two cents. Just give it to them. Let them do it. They will consider you, but you got to keep it in. The more you can give them control, the more likely you're going to be to keep them. Because I feel like that would, that would bind this person to you. That would lock them in. And I do feel like... For those of you that are gonna are willing to do this or try to do that, I do feel like you're gonna have like a backup plan or something where you're like, all right, I'm gonna do a little extra work and just keep my eye on it. But I feel like you'll get used to it and you'll be fine. Um, I really do. Otherwise, I do feel like you either got the bonding with the four of wands is where this is gonna go, or you got the three of wands where they're gonna leave. So like this is either gonna be solidify or say goodbye, because we like to rhyme. Apparently, I love to rhyme. Apparently, because I do it all the time. Um, you're, you're holding the card of justice. It's all going to depend on how you handle this situation, what happens next. It's literally completely in your control. They're just trying, I feel like the universe is trying to give you a heads up. If you're able to let go, you'll, you'll keep this situation. If you're, if it's too much and you hold on too tightly, you're going to lose it. It's going to go away. Being open, is that openness? Transformation. There's transformation going on here, but you did have openness over here. I think that's why I'm saying that. Transformation. The second card doesn't come in very... Well, it's goddess, the goddess. I'm getting... Everybody will do well. This will go forward very well. It's kind of like a soul growth thing. It's what we're here for, you know. I think I said that to Virgo. I don't think I need to go through it here again for whatever reason. I don't feel the need to. But, you know, life is hard. This is one of those moments where it's kind of difficult but it actually can still work in your favor. So that's something. I don't know. I'm not saying you're going to love it. You're going to go skipping down the street about it. I know. But still, it can still go in your favor. It's just, it's difficult. It's up to you. I feel like they're just trying to give you a heads up. You got two choices. It's all about how you handle it. You handle it this way, that happens. You handle it this way, that happens. I feel like they're just giving you the heads up just so you know ahead of time. So that way, when you look back, you're like, all right, I knew that was going to happen. So I chose, I chose what I chose, and this is where I am. That's where it is. Taurus does well. When you when you give them a good heads up, Taurus does really well with that. So I'm sure you'll do whatever you need to do with it. So there we go. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Um, if I can get my brain going. If you'd like a direct reading, reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four. Astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation, if you're interested in the donation information, that's below as well. Same email. I didn't forget anything. I did say rewards. Like I showed this in the beginning, didn't I? My brain is just like because I got. Like, I'm supposed to go. No, I think this is. The, I already showed you this. What am I missing? Because I'm seeing the sun card over here, but I think uh, Capricorn had the sun card, so I'm like I keep thinking I missed something. I think we're good. I think we're good. Anything else? I should have asked that before I did that. All right, so I already did the close down. I'm going to shut it down here. Thank you for watching, and you have a good day.